everyone, I hope you're doing really well. My name is Evelyn from an Empath's Guide Book Reviews and Writer's Corner and I'm here today to do my first uh, AuthorTube slash BookTube together video, I guess you could say. I don't really know what to call it. So the topic that I've decided to explore is called Is Creativity Selfish? Which may sound a little bit strange, but for me one of my purposes is really strong to help other people and to help other people heal and just to alleviate the suffering in other people which I've felt since a young age and so I didn't know when I went to university whether you know creative writing was going to do that and writing fiction was going to do that I didn't think that it would so I studied different things instead being journalism and law and it's only lately that I've started to think lately being the last few years or couple of years or so that creativity is not selfish and it is actually quite a selfless healing thing that you give to others. So I wrote a piece about it. I thought I would just read it out to you because I think it just flows a lot better from on the paper. I hope you like it and that it speaks to you in some way. When I was younger, I loved to read. I still do. Stories were the single coolest and most fun thing ever. I loved my books. And so, all I ever wanted to do when I grew up was to write books. Stories that transport us from the real world into magical worlds. But when I got older, maybe a teenager, it's like I was led to believe that fiction and books and dreaming of being an author are just flights of fantasy. Led to believe that the real world is serious and full of duties, like earning a steady paycheck and meeting your parents' expectations. It was easy to start thinking that my love for fiction was just escapism. That in order to be an adult, my stories were something that I had to tuck away into the bottom drawer. In order to become successful and earn a good salary in a respectable career. It's an easy thing, I realise now, to get swept up in the beliefs of society. But it is when we never dare to step out of those beliefs and to question them as adults that we can get lost in ideas that were never ours to begin with. Ideas like in or that in order to help someone, you have to be a doctor or a lawyer or a teacher. There are many other selfless ways to help someone. Creativity is not selfish. It is not flights of fantasy disconnected from the real world. It is the real world plus freedom. The real world without shackles. The real world without the barriers of time, space, science, or the human ego. Creativity is the real world plus peace. For when the real world gets hard, where do we go to? We get lost in books and music, films and TV shows. We find solace in the stories of others who share our own tough experiences or get through them. We are comforted and healed by the art, the creativity of strangers and their emotions. Who though perhaps divided from us by space and time, life and death, language or culture, transcend all these barriers and speak straight to our hearts. For art is the space where all of humanity comes together in all its light and dark. Art is the closest link to spirit that we have. And I believe that our spirit, our own spirit, is the thing that will heal us the most. Whether that spirit is whole or broken. I've come to think about creativity like this. The very act of creating something is like an act of God. For what does God or the universe or that giant purple octopus that lives in the sky do? They create life. And if you don't believe in God, that's okay too. Think of it as science. You can get to a certain point where through, through science you can explain the existence of physical matter. But beyond this, you can't explain. What creates the atom, the single smallest unit of all life? Something creates it, even if you don't know what that is. Even if you don't choose to call that thing God. And just like that, the universe creates. A baby is born. Thousands, maybe more, of babies are born, humans and animals, every day. The universe from which we all come is constantly creating. Without analysing, 
without overthinking and without doubting its ability to create in abundance and love. So when you are creating yourself, you are not being selfish. You are being one with the heart and the mind of higher creation, receiving its insights on wisdom and illusion to share with the world. And the world will receive these insights that you've received when you share your art with it. Don't ever question if the world needs what you make. If the idea came to you, if you felt its purpose and that yearning to make something physical out of a mere notion, it was meant for you. There is a giant creative bubble that exists in the sky, which I believe all ideas come from. And if an idea chose you out of the millions of other artists in the whole world, whether it be a song, a story, a poem, or a single brushstroke, no matter how you channel the idea, it was meant for you. If the idea came to you, it already exists in another time and place. But now the idea needs the world to know it. With that knowledge, you can rest easy, knowing that there will be at least one other person besides yourself who needs what you create, who needs your emotions. Isn't that wonderful? The world needs all its professions. Well, most of them, as Neil Gaiman has said, rather wisely perhaps, maybe not more politicians. But in its current state of evolution, it's true, the world does need people who resolve conflicts, heal sicknesses, and people who diplomatically, or not so diplomatically, run countries. But it needs its creative people, perhaps now more than ever. Because what the world needs more than anything else is emotional peace. It needs a call to see the truth. It needs the real world plus freedom. The real world without shackles, without the barriers of time, space, science, or the human ego. It needs people who can selflessly share with the world a piece of their souls, honestly. That's the real world plus art. Because since we are not there yet, since we have not manifested peace as a species in the world or in our own minds, it is up to us artists to help. We have a responsibility to create a vision of what the future could be. Books, for me, like 1984 and Animal Farm, films like Earthlings and Unity, and music movements that developed as a res response to oppression, like hip hop, they all help to create awareness and empathy through honest, raw emotions. These things, creating awareness, empathy, understanding, and even shock, sometimes in order to enact positive change, these things are not selfish. They are selfless. So if you are an artist or a person who creates of any kind, writer, musician, painter, designer, anything else, whatever it may be, you are important. Your work is important. You have a vision to share with the world that it cannot receive in other ways, perhaps. You are giving of yourself in a way that is not your ego, but your soul self, which is limitless. So if you are creative, I implore you to today to remember that. Please do not ever forget that your contribution is needed in this world. And if you think that this sounds like too big a burden, or you don't know where to start, or you don't think you're creative, but would like to be, let's simplify it. What is creativity? It is simply the openness to channel raw emotions into physical form, while not knowing or being certain of the outcome. So to start, just be true to yourself. What drives you? What issues are you most passionate about? What gets your heart pumping? And what is your most fun, most exciting creative form of play? And then just start experimenting and putting it all together. It doesn't matter if it's random at first, all creativity is random, chaotic, and you have no idea what's going to happen. That is part of the fun of it. But when one is creative, they are giving of the deepest, most vulnerable and powerful part of themselves, their heart and their emotions. And that is hard. 
but it is also selfless because there will always be someone else who can relate to you and that is healing in itself. Creativity is not selfish. Creativity is love. And that's the end of my little piece. I hope that like it helped if you were anything like me and were struggling with, you know, whether you should do something more meaningful and more helpful. Because when I look back, I mean, I think during difficult times of my life, life, the things that really saved me or helped me were things like music and books. And these are the things that have changed my life for the better that have left the most lasting impact. And it's amazing how a stranger can do that for you. And it is incredibly giving and selfless. So, Yes, that's probably where I'll, I'll leave it today. If you liked this, I'll probably share different musings if you guys like it. Or either way, I'll share my creative musings. And if you'd like to see more, you can like this video and also subscribe. I'd be really grateful. I'll also leave a link down to my blog, An Empath's Guide to the Galaxy, where there are many musings on creativity, spirituality, self-development, just ideas of how to be happier and find more peace in your everyday life. So yes, thank you so much for watching. I'm very grateful and I hope you have a wonderful day and that is very creative and fun. Okay, so I'll see you next time and take care until then and lots of love. Bye.